Okay, so half time at Rugby Park. I just want to say, Varshady looked at the foul on Dylan Venti because his shirt was getting pulled and both hands were on him like that. You even seen David Marshall going like that. It was obvious. Why is VAR always our haunted business right now? Uh, we've not had anything on VAR apart from one penalty this season on VAR. That was it. It's kind of been on our backs lately uh, this entire season and it's a shame because I don't know what the issue is here. First of all, it's like we've had one penalty off of VAR. We've never had anything off of VAR such as players getting sent off for VAR. That's about it. And uh, VAR giving us offside goal after offside goal. So that needs to change in my opinion. VAR needs to be a bit more sensible and needs to be a bit more no, just give the opposition team everything. There was now a happy Hibs fans with the performance levels. I can kind of see why going 1-0 down, not really creating enough chances. I mean, the new signings are sort of settling in. It is early days yet, and early deja vu, but this is our second game, um, and I'm pretty sure the new signing that we signed yesterday came on. I can't remember. I didn't really look at the song. I still think a central defender, possibly two central defenders, is key for Hibs to sort out our defence crisis because we need to look at that right now. We didn't look at our defence this season. It's not going to look well. I know that Megwa did kind of get caught out a few times, but you've got to realise he's a young player and he's still learning and he will be a good player one of these days and right now yeah, I just want to leave it there uh, make sure to like, subscribe hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any content from the Brother Trio and um, back to Rugby Park where Riley will have the second half Right, full time at Rugby Park guys, and it has finished Kilmarnock um, 2, Hibs 2, and congratulations on the new signing on opening his goal scoring account for Hibs since signing, it was actually a really good goal, I was uh, actually amazed at uh, how Riley had actually captured that, so well done for that, I'm going to see a lot more Hibs away games, hopefully, I'm not saying which ones, but I will try and figure that out. Um, but what a comeback for Hibs. And on the red card situation at Rugby Park where uh, Kilmarnock got sent down to 10 men. Um, the Kilmarnock manager says it wasn't a red card but to me it was because if you actually look back at it
you can see the um, how he wins it. There's how it is. Um, and it's kind of, you can see the situation there and you can see where the studs hit Jair Tavares. The referee was called over to say VAR checking a possible red card for serious foul play and then that was it. And then the referee was like, and then took out the yellow card and went, and then took out the red and went, that was it. There's a lot of talented players that Nick Montgomery's brought in, and I like the way he's done it. He trialled the players that we had when we were in Dubai. They weren't good enough, so if they didn't fit into the expectations of what the manager needs, then they just get dealt to cheerio, more or less. Thank Nick Montgomery with who he's brought in so far. You should be happy about that. I'm happy with who he's brought in. I wasn't even expecting Nick Montgomery to bring in players like that with that quality and then the first time they played for Hibs they were just like like that they were just outstanding except for the defence which is still in the works I'm guessing but a very a slow rocky start in the first half but then in the second half it kind of lived up to our expectations as soon as the Kilmarnock went down to 10 men for Joe Neal Um wow Um but he did look really focused when scoring Nashi over to Riley for his match reaction. Um, so, because he wants to do his reaction, I just wanted to do mine as well because he wanted my reaction in this. So I've done it. And, um, yep, over to Brother Riley. And this is his match reaction. Enjoy. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. Oh, helps me. Come on, that game was, um, well, I was at it. Marshall was not the best. Um, the Dylan Levitt goal, I don't think, should have been allowed. He pulled his shirt. Go. He didn't even try and save it. It just went right under his legs. Uh, and then, obviously, Hibbs. First half played brilliantly and then kind of fell off towards the end of the half. Second half came, they, uh, come on, it started with a good start, nearly scored. Then they got a red card. John Lewis scored a, a volley, and then, but he scored. He, he's, he's really good. Right, so guys, that is uh, obviously Riley's match reaction. Um, so he gave his thoughts and that's the main thing and in case anybody wonders why my brother Riley doesn't actually show his face is because he doesn't want to do that and that is completely completely okay to do that but there'll probably be a time and place when we eventually all show our faces on this channel eventually but like I said make sure to like share and subscribe that has been the brother trio which will kick on as of coming up for Saturday next week, it'll be Hibernian v St Mirren. Okay, so that is going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and enable notifications. And that has been Jaxie99 and aka the Brother Trio. And bye bye.